Hey, hey there, how's it going? This is day number two. And we are still on the journey, still on the path, still going strong, but <laughs> had some, uh, some interesting developments. So last night was really wonderful. Got to spend some time with uh, some folks at a breatharian retreat. It was uh, for the winter solstice, for the solstice. And we brought in the new year last night by writing on a flashcard. On one side, we wrote the things that we are invoking, things like peace, prosperity, abundance, wealth, health, um, you know. And on the other side, we wrote the things that we are banishing, things like fear, worry, doubt, confusion. Right? So we're bringing in things like clarity and we're banishing, letting go things like confusion and, and lack. Right? And so it was really wonderful. We, we took these flashcards and we burned them in a, in a fire out back. We made a fire in the backyard and burned all the flashcards. So, and they also had this, uh, this ceremonial sage that she was doing around us while we were um, burning our, our things. So it was very interesting. But I uh, got to talk to a breatharian and listen to a talk from Ellie Tom El Amin. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard of him. So he was here and he is here in California, but he was at uh, the retreat there at the house. So that was awesome. And some things that I got from the talk, so many things. So many things, but I can uh, go over just a few of them. Solstice is all about the sun, he was saying. You know, it's that energy. Things are taking place in the spirit realm. So these are very interesting times for the spirit realm. It makes me think of Avatar, The Last Airbender. So seeds now for the springtime. So this is the time where we sow the seeds so that we can harvest them later on. So anything that you're wanting to sow or wanting to reap, start sowing now. Don't wait till the new year or don't wait till the official new year. Start sowing right now. Sexual energy has to renew itself. Yes. So taking that sexual energy in the base, and rising it up the spinal cord, that energy, making it rise, right? Like Santa Claus, the claustrum in the brain, that energy, that spinal fluid that's coming down the chimney, right? Will you allow that gift to come back up to where it needs to be? That, that spinal fluid is also for the cerebral. It's essential. There are so many times in my life where I used to waste it, just waste it, but no longer. The window is open now to be more wealthy. There's a portal open right now for all these things that we are desiring or wishing. The portal is open now, so now's the time for meditation, now's the time for incantation or now's the time for you know proclamation and emancipation <laughs> freedom so the more you understand your connection why you should eat so we were talking about different things and i want to go into what happened to me I was fasting and I told myself, because it, it was a wild drive, it was about two hours to get over there, but I told myself that I would not drink anything until I got back, because I'm already not eating, but I told myself I wouldn't consume any liquid until I got back. So I drove and I was falling asleep at the wheel, I was like, uh, just knocking out at the wheel, right? So I took it off cruise control, I thanked 
God that I didn't crash or anything didn't happen because I was literally on autopilot and my mind was on autopilot. So anything could have happened on the California highway. <laughs> but it was about one or one or two in the morning as I was coming back here and uh, just swerving on the road. And then I played some loud music and just started jamming out, started freestyling to engage my mind and deep breathing and just really just getting my mind working so I could stay awake. And uh, there were so many temptations last night. Temptations to, like literally I was going on my phone, I was looking up spots like grocery stores to go and get some soup for, for the morning and just like, I was thinking to myself, you know, I don't have any more soup. I only have juice and tea and I just wasn't satisfied and that temptation, those cravings were coming really strong last night. And, and the, my cell phone was saying, no, you know, there's nothing open till six o'clock or eight o'clock and well, I can't fall asleep in the parking lot. Well, I could, but why would I just fall asleep in the parking lot of a grocery store and wait till they open to go in and get it? You know, why not I just come to the house and just, you know, go to sleep? So that's what I did. I came to the house, I went to sleep, and woke up in the morning, and what do you think I did? Immediately, before saying prayers, before saying gratitude, before writing in my journal, before doing anything, before any meditation, I'm rushing out here, I'm like giving in to my craving, a weak moment, a moment of weakness, rushing down to the nearest grocery store to get soup, tomato soup, and you know, bringing it back here, and then I just gobbled it up. I ate it and uh, I went to the, the restroom and it was like my stomach just really, really has been just hurting all day. But you know what's crazy? Because I told myself, I told myself, I was like, no, I don't, I don't like this feeling, this feeling on my stomach, you know, this, I'm giving into these cravings and I know that they're hurting me. And so I told myself, I don't like this feeling. I don't want this feeling. This is not what I want. This is not what I desire. I know what I desire. I felt what it feels like to be empty and full at the same time, to be on an empty stomach, but to feel all this energy, to feel so good, so wonderful. And I had to remind myself of that feeling today. It was a moment of weakness that I surrendered to, but at least I didn't go all the way. At least I didn't eat solid food. At least, you know, I kept to my agreement with myself and I stayed within the boundaries, within that wall that I had created. And so I'm not stepping outside of that uh, right now for just that moment of weakness, but it was a moment. So, you know what's crazy? I was feeling like my stomach later on this afternoon, that my stomach was just hurting. And all day long, I hadn't meditated, I hadn't done breath work, I hadn't done qigong. Guess what, I just did some qigong over here and my stomach feels so much better. I feel so much better. Like miles away from where I was feeling. Even as I was doing the qigong, I could feel the energy. I could feel the magnetism. I could feel the energy in between my hands. I could feel it. This cosmic energy that's raining down on us. I feel it and it feels so good. So this is just a message letting you know this is day two of the journey here. We're still going and we will continue. But it's just letting you know and letting myself know that we are human. You know, even if we are spiritual beings who are having this human experience, we're still human and things happen. We make mistakes, we fall down, but we get back up. We get back up. So that's what matters. So thank you for watching, my friend. I appreciate you. Be blessed, be well, and we will see you again. Thank you.